Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen here on the SAM channel, February 21st. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Yesterday, wow, we got up to 65 degrees. Felt good. Uh, some clouds did move in, and there were, you know, a few sprinkles of light rain and brief rain showers, but uh, 65? That's not bad. We'll be slightly cooler today because there is a weak boundary that is uh, passing through the area this morning. You can see it there on the current radar satellite. Now, all the rain is out of here, but we still have this boundary. It's a rather weak boundary. There is an area of low pressure, as you see, back over West Tennessee in the Mississippi River. That has been the trigger for some of the light rain showers and sprinkles we saw yesterday. But right now, skies are mainly clear over southern Kentucky. And because of the cooler, wet ground and the skies clearing overnight, there may be some patchy fog out there this morning, and it could be rather dense. You can see that the flow, the upper flow here, is out of the west. The clouds that are moving along this system, this rather weak system, which is really just going to fall apart, uh, is coming from west to east. That's that zonal flow that I've been talking about the last few days, if you've been watching here, that west to east fetch, which is coming off of the uh, Pacific, and uh, that's going to keep us warm. This boundary is actually going to uh, stall out here around the Nashville area and then return north as a warm front over time. It just hasn't happened yet, but it's going to, and when that happens, that's when the really warm air is going to start to kick in over the coming days, and we're talking possible record highs, not just one day, but maybe two days, both Wednesday and Thursday could both be record-breaking days as far as temperature. There is some rain coming, but it's uh, it's not going to be anything that uh, is going to bring us, I don't think at this point, uh, severe weather. Uh, it may bring us some thunderstorms and some rainfall, but as far as severe weather, that doesn't look to be the case as of right now. But I know you're thinking, okay, you look at this model blender and you're like, hey, Chris, anytime you said that, you know, winter time, especially when we see big jumps in temperature and we go near 80 degrees, which we will on Thursday, then we fall to a colder 51 on Friday. Doesn't that mean there will be almost a guarantee of severe weather? Well, maybe not so much in this case because uh, we just don't have all the necessary ingredients necessary for severe weather development. That doesn't mean that there won't be any, but as far as, you know, looking at this and thinking, well, that's a, that's a red flag, but not in this case. And I'll explain as I get into the details here, but let's look at the blender. Uh, and it shows really a very spring-like pattern. Again, I do not see anything within the next 10 days that indicates cold, anything really cold. And I'm talking about freezing cold, winter weather, none of that. As you can tell, we go from a little slightly cooler 62 or low 60s today instead of the mid 60s. Then that warm front comes in and look, we hop into the mid 70s, upper 70s tomorrow. Same thing on Thursday when we could actually hit 80 in a couple of spots. Uh, by the way, the record high on Wednesday, tomorrow, is 74, set back in 1922. So it looks as if we'll break that record. And on Thursday, the record is 79, set back in 1982. Uh, it looks like we could tie that one or actually break it. Before the temperatures come down, as you see on Thursday night into Friday morning, we'll start in the 30s, and really that's as cold as it's going to get over the next 10 days, because then we hop right back into the 50s, 60s, 70s, fall down again next Tuesday, then, then go right back up into the 60s, the middle part of next week, which is the beginning of March. 
it's a crazy pattern. This could end up, of course, being one of the warmest Februarys on record, at least in the top 10 somewhere uh, by the time it's over. Oh, global warming. Oh, 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 no. climate change. Oh, oh, come on, man. Got to get those electric cars going so we can save the planet. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's uh, <laughs> check, things, check things out this morning uh, from a perspective of the uh, Kentucky Mesonet Network. Where is it? Come here. Come here. I know you're here. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, let me fix this real quick. That's what I get for, uh, I guess. There we go for joking around. No, I'll never stop joking around. When I need to be serious, I'll be serious. You know I will. Okay, here we go with the Kentucky Mesonet. And this morning, it is mild in a few places, but where that cold front came through and the skies have cleared, that's where it is a little chillier, like up around, you know, Ohio County, um, Grayson County, you got 35, 36, even 36 in Bowling Green, but the Southern Station down at the Ag Expo Center is at 41. And then you see all these 40s, almost 50 degrees. There's a couple of 50s east, which is a little bit unusual. That's where the cloud cover continues. There's still clouds and even a little bit of light rain and sprinkles in the uh, northeastern corner of Kentucky. Right here where you see the light blue and the dark blue, 30s and some 40s, that's where the skies have cleared. But there is some fog developing over those areas, so be careful this morning as you're headed off to work because you may uh, run into some patchy, dense fog uh, this morning. All right, let's take a look at the uh, weather charts here and the, the maps, and I'll show you what's coming down the pike here as we... Use the uh, model outlook here for the next, uh, say, 36 to 72 hours. So any of that light rain that's been up here in parts of uh, southern Tennessee, the higher elevations, all of that continues to move off to the east away from us. So we're pretty much done with that. But the front is still just kind of laying in this general area, as you saw. Notice the cold air is trapped to the north of us. There's a deep low pressure system over the Great Lakes, but we're not under that influence, really. Our, our little system down here is about to fall apart and move away. So let's put this into motion. Here we go with the zonal flow continuing here off the coast of the Pacific Ocean. And it's going to continue to push the steering winds and the warmer air right across the southern half of the country. In fact, it even goes up as far as parts of the Rockies, as you see there. And uh, it's the jet stream has flexed a little bit more to take away some of the winter weather that's been back west, and uh, we'll soon clear a lot of that out, at least for the southern half of the Rockies. Uh, here we go with our weather as we continue today, slightly cooler than yesterday. Notice we're just going to keep things pretty dry here for a little while longer. Now notice the flow here starts to arc right over the center part of the country. All the colder air is trapped up to the north. Southern air, now we're starting to get the flow coming up out of the Gulf of Mexico as high pressure moves east. And the zonal flow now starts to arc up a little bit more. So Overall, what I'm trying to tell you is the next few days, this is you're going to think that spring has sprung and maybe even early summer, and it's going to be really nice. It's going to spoil us as the problem. It's going to spoil us to thinking that, oh, winter is over with and we're all in the clear and everything is, is good. But here we go with some showers that are going to work in here. As we get into Wednesday, this is uh, late Tuesday night into early Wednesday. Warm fronts will come through the area, the first of a couple of warm fronts. And then you've got your cold front here back to the west. Uh, here's our low pressure system way out in the southern part of the Rockies. 
We're going to see thunderstorms in the general south here, but along that warm front, as soon as tomorrow morning, we're going to start to see rain come back into the area. And I think it's primarily just for tomorrow morning, then it tapers off. Then we're going to get another round with this that you see along the cold front back to the west. Now, these cold fronts are the kind that's going to come in, and as I explained before, they kind of, with a low-pressure system riding along it, they kind it's kind of like bending your arm like this. The front comes in, settles, then it comes back north as a warm front. So this pattern looks to continue, not just Wednesday, but on into Thursday, there you see things get more organized with this. Look at all that icing. Yeah, mixed precipitation, icing, snow, freezing rain, sleet. And this as that, uh, that 540 freezing line, you know, is like that. And so we see a kink in, in the works here. For us, warm, shower, maybe thunderstorm activity. Notice here, it also looks kind of windy. Notice the tight lines there. So the winds are going to pick up again. It's going to be warm and breezy with showers as we continue even into Thursday, Friday. Now we start to see the um, main low pressure system right here over, well, just north of St. Louis. And this is as we get into Thursday, actually late Wednesday night into Thursday, Notice all the scattered showers here that start to take over. And now we start to see, oh, look at this, the big drop in temperature that's going to happen back to the west as these low pressure systems take off. We're still warm. Look at all that warm air all the way up into New England. But the flow here is going to be now tape, uh, tapping into the Gulf of Mexico. Therefore, the showers start to take over. So this is the pattern that we're looking at for the next several days. Uh, it's going to be a bit unsettled, but it's not going to be necessarily stormy as those big changes in temperature take place. Uh, it We could get some thunder. We could get some briefly heavy rain, but I don't see a severe weather outbreak for us necessarily. Uh, quick look at the maps, surface maps here, so you can see um, a little more of the placement of these things. There you see the that front over our area decaying, but also becoming the warm front. Here's another front to the north of us. These things are just kind of going to wobble here back and forth. There you see it going back north as a warm front. As we get into Wednesday, look at all the mess out west and up north. That's where that uh, colder air is just going to sit. The jet stream running, dipping way down into Mexico and then coming back up and arcing over the Ohio Valley. And uh, therefore, as we get into Wednesday morning, uh, here we go into Wednesday night. That's when we could see a few thunderstorms. Look at all the ice and the mess up to the north. And then the main fronts try to work in here as we get on into uh, Friday. That's going to put an end to the showers temporarily. But as we get into Saturday, look what happens. That front here, same thing. Stalls out, returns north, that bending that I'm talking about. The warmer air, even though it's going to be cooler, there will be cooler showers as we get into Saturday, Sunday, and here come another warm front. That one's going to warm us back up again. So you see how this back and forth, it's, it's like warm cool a little, bend it down, stall out, come back north as a warm front. Hey, I'm, I'm actually exercising this morning. But that's, that's what the atmosphere is doing. It's flexing. It's exercising. It's trying to work out these transitions from a very warm, unseasonably warm spring-like pattern back to, hey, it's still winter. It's still February. Oh, we got to come back down. But, oh, wait, let's go back up. <laughs> it's like doing the wave, you know, it's, it's, it's like when you do that at a, at a, at the stadium, you know, doing the wave, uh, it's crazy. I know. Um, and I know a lot of, a lot of people want to say it's this, that, or the other. It's the, it's the pattern that we're in. It's just, it is what it is. It's 
nothing that you did or any anything else is just the way the patterns are going. It's happened before. We've set records for high temperatures in February before. Everybody gets all worked up like, oh, here we go. The planet is done. It's over with. It may be for other reasons, but not for that. <laughs> I won't get into that. That's a whole nother soapbox. All right, you guys, I'm headed to the radio station. Sam, 100.7. Uh, some more giveaways this morning. I've got Home Expo tickets. Everybody loves the Home Expo. It is not this weekend. It is next weekend. Sloan Convention Center, Builders Association. I've got passes to give away to that. I've got more free coffee to give away from the good stuff, coffee and more. And, of course, some Wendy's and all of that. So join me this morning, 6 to 10, Sam, 100.7 on your FM radio dial. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you on the radio.